Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is my comment since I try to keep it down and integrate it in 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, I'm some very, very fucking important because everything I say is fucking important. If you have any comments, questions, comments, you put it down below. And a little while ago, I just made a video talking about the easy button. Um, the easy button. And I'm going to continue on, though, because I forgot to, I forgot to say something. I turned over the piece of paper, little notes I have here. But this will waste a little bit of your time before I get on to the next topic. Um, lying, okay? Manipulation. Lying and misinterpretation are not the same, okay? I wanted to say that. And um, I think I made a video about it. But when you manipulate factors, you're actually not telling... You're, you're telling the truth, but it's, 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 in a, it's a manipulated fashion. It's not like you're lying. Like, for example... You have four titties in front of you, and one of the girls with the one pair of titties says, "Is my titties more prettier than hers?" Okay. Naturally, you know her titties are full and more full than your other girlfriend's titties, right? Okay. But you can't say one is more beautiful than the other unless you're crazy like myself. I'll say, "Hell yeah, your titties is more," because that's that's the emerald pill, which I keep telling people about the emerald pill, but they don't want to listen. But it will become popular one day, and somebody will try to bite. Of course it will. But of course, um, basically, when once one girl asks you, Do you, is my titties more pretty than hers? You have to, if you're a softie, you're just both, you have to say, all the titties are prettier. Okay? Because a softie will always take the lesser route. He's manipulating the factor. He's not directly telling the truth. You understand what I'm saying? He says, both, all your titties, you're both, all your titties are fine. All four of them titties are fine. Right? And they were like, thank you very much, you know, so they, you can't hurt one of them. You know, you know that's a goddamn lie, but you telling the truth in a way, because everything is beautiful, in a sense, right? Like, and, and everything is beautiful. Like, you, you, if you say one is more full than the others, and you give more detailed specifics how one's more beautiful than others, then you might hurt the other girl's feelings. So you have to use manipulation or psychology to make sure they're all happy. But I'm a direct individual. I don't give a fuck about your feelings or all like that. <laughs> Unless you tell me the truth. Like, hey! Okay? And also, um, oh, oh, it's about two minutes now. I was rambling on, okay? Now, this video is going to be about shithole Ethiopia. Shithole Ethiopia. Because somebody asked me to, um, 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 um make a video on shithole Ethiopia. I, Ethiopia is a shithole. Most definitely is, okay? It's, it's more than that. The food is more natural and stuff. You know, the, the VAT tax, I don't like the VAT tax. They charge people 25% taxes. So if you bring items, I'm telling I'm warning you right now. If you bring any kind of TVs or some shit, you will get a VAT tax even though you're a tourist. Okay. I told them and the motherfuckers tried to take, they took my TVs and shit. They even tried to analyze my game system and said, what is this? How are we going to get some money out of this motherfucker right here? So I'm just warning you in Ethiopia, is a shithole. They don't have a lot, they don't have a, a great um, um, system in place like the United States, which is the most evolved in the world, okay? And um, they have a republic over there, okay? It's the same thing as America, but it's, it's more stricter over there because you're going to have freedom of speech over there in Ethiopia. You know, I live in America, which is a conservative republic. It's a conservative republic. Trust me, it is. It's not a democracy. There's no such thing. There's no democracy in America all like that. There's some socialist... Uh, um, Commonwealth, some in sporadic areas, but that's still controlled by Republic, okay? Because they have the most money to control it, okay? They're being kind, they're being kind, they're giving a little at a time, alright? But Ethiopia, when I went there, the first thing I wasn't, I, I, I learned that I couldn't record things. Yeah, you already know, that's the shit right there, that's, I, I can't record things? If they do, it's telling me to put my camera down. I'm like, what the, how can I, how can I not record Ethiopia? How come I can't record people? What's going on here? This is the airport. I just came get off an American air, air flight that says Ethiopia. Okay, and I can't record. I'm American. You know? So they, they tried to probably protect me or some shit, right? So next thing you know, I'm going outside, and I'm like, everything is out of order. They won't even let their people near the airport. Okay? So that's that's another strike. I, that, Ethiopians are not permitted. No one's permitted because this is like a terrorist country too. Okay, so they don't allow their own people. Another thing I found out is... The Ethiopian people are ch overcharging the Ethiopian people themselves. Okay? These are facts now. You know, when I'm paying for a plane ticket from their country, since I'm American, my shit goes down dramatically. But they have to reevaluate their uh, 
their system because there's, there's no system in place. There's no 10 times charged. I said 10 times. I'm like, if a plane ticket costs me roughly $1,000 for just a one flight, one way, their plane ticket will actually cost them $3,000, dog. I swear to you not. If you go in the country, another, another, another reason why it's a shithole, because you try to find a buy a phone. Let's say you buy a Samsung Galaxy 5. You know Samsung Galaxy, when it first came out, it'd be like $600, right? But if you go in their country and use their money, they will overcharge you by an amount of $800. Not the normal price of the phone itself. Think about that now. Yeah. So $600 times 21 burr. You know, that's how you get how much burr it is. Because $1 is worth 21 or 22 burr. Right? So you know, they, they also, and, and when you go to ba um, restaurants... They charge a 25% VAT tax. That's the tax that you pay. That's not the actual price of what it costs. Because they don't have a system in place to keep track of all those things. They can't They can't possibly do that. They don't have a register or a merchant account. They don't have merchant accounts. Their system runs by, you know, 2G. You know, it fluctuates between 2G and probably 3G. If you if you live in, in Addis Ababa, the, system, the, the internet is not all that good. You have to go to a cafe in order to get a little bit of stronger system. And I learned this from her, her brother. Okay? I, you know, I, I lived in Ethiopia for two years. I have a right to talk about it. This is the fucking truth. You know, if you go outside of Addis Ababa or any other area that's not really fully under, not fully developed, because most areas outside of Addis Ababa is more likely to be underdeveloped, unless you go to Awasa or, or, or some areas that's more fully developed. Okay, right? They got boats and houses and shit. But you gotta, if you shitting in, the, if you gotta shit in a hole in the ground, that's an underdeveloped area, and that's a more dangerous area. Because you don't get Wi-Fi as strong out there. Alright, so you understand how shithole Ethiopia is. I'm talking about Ethiopia because somebody asked me, so I'm just making it because that's what I experienced. Now, the positive attributes, I know the positive, I say positive too, is that the women, oh, that's another shithole reason. The women are prostitutionalized. They are the same way as American women. They are exactly the same, except minus their attitude. Their attitude is, is gone. They don't have an attitude. When you approach a female, they're a little bit more nicer. But since they don't know English, they can't keep in touch with you. You know, I can get females' numbers there. And people females, people keep saying, uh, if Ethiopia said no, Ethiopia would love African American. I would say, what are you talking about? That's a lie. That's a definite lie. Okay? You know, there's plenty of uh, African Americans, popular celebrities to go over there and basically get a whole lot of attention. And she got stick of fireworks running around everywhere and Addis Ababa. <laughs> and she, they love African Americans, especially. Okay, they already know that African Americans have the best. They, they look the more prettier. Okay, they already know that African Americans have bigger dicks. Okay, they knew that. Okay, so that's that's uh, uh, no contest. That's no contest. The reason why Ethiopians deal with white men is because of money. That's all. They don't care a fuck about them. They're not attracted to them. I've met a couple of Ethiopian women out there. That's 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 a shithole because they're not being a woman. They don't have. Sometimes they don't even have parents. Okay, but the positives are is that they do have pop more positive attitudes a little bit. They're a little bit more respectful. The more men, there was more men who know English than the women. Okay, the men are more harder workers out there. That's the positive things. They work a little bit too much. They get up at four in the morning, get on the trucks. It's a shithole because all them reasons. There's no addresses on the fucking streets. Okay, you gotta memorize the motherfuckers. You gotta rock them, poot and poot day. Okay, in the corner over there, you get, you can't, you know, you gotta look at landmarks on a the map. <laughs> There's no streets in there. They, they they do things in the area. That whole area is is is, uh, is Kabali or Somali or Kalali or T four six two. They got numbers and shit. That's kind of fucked up because they got everybody. Don't give a fuck about who those individuals are. They got to come with their papers and shit and go to the office, and which takes forever and shit. And they got to register that shit on paper. They don't have computers over there. They don't have the computers over there like that. If you go outside of Addis Ababa, it's not there. It's not existing. So that's why Ethiopia is more likely to be a shithole. Okay. That is why. So peace and love to brothers and sisters like and talk walk on my page. I've said everything I've experienced in that country. There are some positive. The food is more healthier. It's spicy, but it's more likely not cooked well. So you'll be chewing on something like for 15 minutes and shit, right? <laughs> but I'd rather eat more healthier than, uh, than, than to deal with that. And most American foods is really toxic compared to theirs. Okay? But that's the only positive. Food and heat. <laughs> food and heat, brother. People, people in Ethiopia and America, food and heat. Okay, they even got basketball courts, and people are very active. 
Okay, the water is bad, so that's another shithole thing you gotta watch out for. Peace and love to you, brothers. Like, 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 like,